Hey guys, Jason here. Um, I want to talk to you about, uh, I guess, these events that are happening throughout the world. Okay. Um, today's been a really incredibly windy day. Right. If those, if people don't know what's going on, what this day is, it's Orange Shirt Day. It's the date to remember of uh, the countless residential schools, children that uh, were um, unalived because of you, uh, the residential school, right? The priests, right? What that has, what was uh, the travesty Christianity has done, the devastation Christianity has done. This is the curse, guys. This is why you're commanded by Jesus to come out of her. Christianity. Uh, Jesus denied the devil's title temptation, Christ. That's the that's an idol, guys. Right? There's no business you guys should be following that. When the Bible's right there, it's quite clear. Right? There is only one Lord God. Even Jesus was trying to tell you that. Okay? And when you start saying, oh, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, well, what do you think... You look like when you're covered in blood. You look like a murderer. You have no idea who what Jesus did when he gave you guys the communion. Because you're not going back to the Old Testament. When God gives a command, right, do not eat or drink the blood, God's not joking around because that's an abomination. Okay? And what are they doing? Oh, drink the wine offered. Oh, drink the, the blood of Jesus. Huh. That's a curse, guys. If you guys haven't figured it out yet. Okay? So, what I want to talk to you about is, like, the verse in Isaiah 9-6. What it actually really means. Okay? This child that's been born is my grandson. Okay? Grand son. Right? You know, the son that's, you know... I guess he would consider this child. Uh, Jesus was talking about him. He's the Holy One. Okay. The Old Testament refers to him as the Holy One. Right. As we know, I could show you the, the verses associated with that. But <clears throat> I want to focus on what's important. It's about children. Okay. This is what's very important right now. When Jesus said, you know, give these children a cold drink of water, okay, that's a spiritual message. That's talking about God's word, God himself, his word, his commands, not what Paul said, not what Peter said, not their opinions. Anything, any of these little stories that you see in the Old Testament, they don't matter, guys. What matters is God's voice, and this is what God is trying to say. Okay? What people don't understand about these storms, okay? God gave a command in Genesis 2.15, okay, to tend and keep the land. Has anybody been doing that? No. What they're doing is they're clear-cutting the trees. You know the tree of life? The tree of life that provides us air, provides us a uh, shade provides us oxygen it provides us moisture okay all these things are essential for life but when you take those away okay we're seeing these effects happening right now which is which is symbolic message of the cross okay it's a it's a message saying that if you take away the tree men are gonna die okay this is the message of Jesus and the cross okay you take away the tree, results in man and tree dying together. Okay, what do you think is happening right now? So when you guys are watching these uh, Passion of the Christ movies and all these useless, the chosen, it's all garbage, guys. All right, it's idolatry. Stay away from it. Focus on the words, God's commands. Because if you're not, if you're gonna sit here and watch those stupid movies and keep brainwashing your brain, you're gonna be stuck in this stupid Christian religion till you till you die, continue dying in sin. Paul warned you.
because he's the one that set that up. It's his Christianity. Remember, Paul's the devil. His goal is to keep to cause you to die. Because <laughs> remember, the devil has his own kingdom too, right? He wants souls too. So I'm trying to get you away from that, guys, because you need God's seal. God's seal, Revelation 7 2 or 7 11, right? That seal guarantees your born again status. <laughs> You know, because you're going to die, you're going to stand before the throne, okay? And you're going to be um, basically judged, okay? And if you don't have that seal with you, your, your soul is not coming back. That's how it works. It's other known as reincarnation, okay? But Jesus gave a simpler term, born again. Okay, that's what it actually means. Because you, your spirit comes back in a new infant. That's why all children's lives matter, guys. Because that spirit, you know, you're born again, basically. You know, <laughs> I don't know how much more clear I can make it. But this time that we're in right now, all these people that were born years ago are all being born today. Okay, we're, we're those ancient spirits, so to speak. Okay, but anyways, let's talk about the, for unto us the child is born. That's the child. Okay, Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6, if you look at the day my grandson was born, which I predicted, right? I said it, the, the child's going to be born in 9, 24. Okay, so um, when I went to go see my daughter on the day of delivery, she said that she was overdue 10 days. Okay, so they were they were going to induce the birth on the twenty third. Okay, and they tried to, but anyways, the, the the doctor didn't show up, so they didn't get she didn't even get a room. Not until the that he the baby wanted to come out on the twenty fourth at one twenty six a.m. That's when the baby came, at one twenty six a.m. on the twenty fourth. The baby was born in. General Hospital in uh, Regina, Saskatchewan. General Hospital, right here, right? General Hospital or Genesis 126. Okay, so let's so you could see that verse. I'm just going through these uh, foolish Christian channels. They have no idea what's going on. They're st still stuck in Revelations. You know, the Revelations, it's already passed, guys. When the Revelation ended, you know, John's Revelation, it ended in the year 2022. As in Revelations 22, the very end of the Bible, guys. They think You think they would have gotten that. But they can't even get past, oh, the second seal hasn't even begun yet. Or the seventh seal has begun yet. Or no, the sixth seal. They're all over the place, guys. If you look on their channels, they have no idea what they're doing. The first thing you need to understand is it had nothing to do with John's vision. If you guys are following along when God's speaking about dreams, God doesn't care about dreams. He doesn't listen to what men are saying. So these guys could keep declaring their, their revelations, all this, day and night, through Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as Jesus Christ because there's just no Christ. Jesus denied Jesus was the Holy Ghost, guys. That's who he was. He was a part of God's soul. Okay, that was divided when Moses divided the waters. Okay, it's a whole spiritual message bag that you guys are not going to understand. It's hard to explain enough. <laughs> but I'm trying the best I can so you guys could see it. So Genesis 126, it tells you what's happening. Genesis 126, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish, sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over a creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. <laughs> so that's the first man being created, the first human being. 
all up at this point, all these people that you see right now are not human beings. They're all religious entities. Okay? They're all demonic religious entities. So if you associate yourself with a as as being a Muslim, you associate yourself as a Christian, you associate yourself as a Jew, all right, so forth. Okay? That's the devil's divided house, guys. You do not want to be part of that because they're not human beings. They're possessed by the devil. This is why they're nuts, guys. They can't think for themselves. So basically what's happening is we are in the genesis. We're in the creation right now. The end is the beginning. Do you guys understand? We're in the beginning. The seventh day. Okay? When God said, let there be light, then there was light. That light is the law. Okay? This is the day that the Lord had made. Okay? The, the day that you're going to understand by keeping the commandments, you're loving God. Okay? Jesus also reinforced this by saying, love the Lord your God as well as love your, en your neighbor. Okay? You love your neighbor by sharing the commandments. What was... What was expected to be done to post the ram's blood upon the doorpost, right? So the angel of death doesn't come and get you. Okay? Okay, it's all symbolic. So the ram's blood is symbolic of the commandments, which are found in Exodus 20. Okay? The ram's blood is God's sacrifice, his payment for your sins. Okay? It's not the murder of Jesus that pays for your sins. That's the wrath of God. This is why you guys are not seeing the message. You guys are not getting it. That God is almighty for that specific reason. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Right? The holy arm of the Lord, which I've been showing you, okay, that I go to dialysis four times a week at three-hour intervals, okay, Two needles go in my arm, goes to a dialysis machine to be washed. Okay? So, you guys should understand what that message is saying now. Okay? The, I am the symbolic ram. Alright? I'm the one paying the sins for humanity. Okay? This is why it's so important you understand why Jason, the name... Is very important because that's the father's name. <clears throat> this is what nobody's talking about. Oh, they're talking about Jesus oh, and Christianity and, uh, you know, all this other stuff. Paul's lies, Paul's letters. But they don't even want to ask the question, who is the Heavenly Father? Because you have to remember, Jesus got his information from the prophets. And where did the prophets get their information from? from the heavenly father the son of man that's who that is jesus was referring to him to that now if you refer back to matthew 24 it tells you who the son of man is which is the father in heaven but nobody wants to put two or two together they want to associate that the son of man is jesus uh no why would jesus be speaking about himself <laughs> like that when he could have just said it, oh yeah, I'm, I'm coming guys, that's me, you know, don't worry about it. <clears throat> he was trying to tell you this straight from the Bible, from the Old Testament, who the Son of Man is. He was trying to put them two, 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 two together. You know, come on guys, you know, it's like uh, Jesus is saying, um, I'm, I'm building my Father's place for you guys, so that way you could be there with me, <laughs> right? Um, nobody has no clue. Nobody's talking about the Heavenly Father. I don't see nobody talking about Him. Oh, they're praying. Oh, the Heavenly Father is garbage. Jesus told you how to pray. The Father already knows what you need before you even ask Him. So what's the point of praying? You're expected to understand this information. This is what you're expected to know. Because Jesus was warning you about the oil that's poured out. That oil is God's light. You need 
uh, in order to keep the light burning, the fire candle burning, you need oil in your lamps. <laughs> okay, without that oil, your your light is not going to start. Right? You need the oil. The oil is God's commandments. Exodus 20. That's the foundation. That's the rock. That's what Jesus was trying to tell you in Matthew 7, 24. Okay? So, anyways, back to this image. This picture. This is my grandson, which was born and. uh a general hospital at 1.26 a.m., okay, born 9.24.24, okay, 24.24 is Matthew 24.24. You know the false Christ and the false prophets, the Christians and the Jews? That's what that's talking about, right? Okay, so if you look at Luke 9.47 and 48, 48 is the eclipse that just happened. Okay, I am 48 years old. Okay, all right. Jesus was the Holy Ghost. Okay, all right. So just so you know, we're at where we're, we're that why that's coming or why that's there. Okay, all right. So and Jesus, perser uh, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child, this child, the grandbaby. <laughs> okay which is all children's lives matter. This is the symbolic that all the children should be protected and why this day is so important. So these children that Israel is slaughtering right now, the innocent ones that they're saying, oh, there's bomb bubbles there and all that. <laughs> Netanyahu is King Herod. He was, he is instruction to what? Massacre the children. Okay, that's what's happening, guys. Those events that you see in, in the Bible that were prophetic, that were talking about uh, Jesus is, and all this and all this born, well, it's happening right now. But you're not seeing it the way you're, you're, you're supposed to be seeing it because, remember, everything in the Bible is prophetic. They didn't understand the names. They didn't understand how this was going to work. It's happening right now. The, the celestial Mary and Joseph is... Isaiah and my daughter Kennedy. That's who that is. Okay? This is the holy child that Jesus was trying to tell you who was coming. Now pay attention to how, how the verse goes. And Jesus, pursue, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receives me, the Holy Ghost. And whosoever shall receive me receives him that sent me, which is Jason, you know, the Heavenly Father, the Son of Man, right? For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. So, anyways, if you notice here, the room number, okay, below that is his crown life. <laughs> That's what I mean. I said this in my last video too, right? I looked at the crown of the room and like number 30. Well, what's today? Today's the 30th. <laughs> so what's happening? All these storms and all these events that are taking place here, which is talking about right here. Look. All right. This is my spirit name. If you guys, if you... If no one didn't, uh, weren't paying attention, okay? My spirit name was given to me when I was an infant, okay? Where I was also circumcised. <laughs> you know, I had no choice in the matter, guys. So, anyways, first Thunderbird flies west praying. That's my spirit name. Otherwise known in my language, okay? So that's my spirit name, which means in English, first Thunderbird flies west praying. Okay, my spirit name given to, given by Percy Severite, and my grandmother's name is Bertha Bird. <laughs> Birth a bird, you know it it, it kind of just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, 
This information is, is found in Google. You can Google it, right? About, you know, the Thunderbird, okay? January, it was, uh, it came, you know, they printed this out in, on, in Google, January 6, 2020. Otherwise, Matthew 16, 20, or Revelation 7, 2. 1 plus 6 is 7, right? 7, 2, right? 7, 2. That's how you see the pattern. And then uh, January is the first month. So 1, 6, 20. Okay, 16, 20. That's where, you, where I got that from. So that's how it all fits. Okay, so an enormous bird... He symbolized great power, strength, and protection for all for humans against evil spirits. Right? He was considered the most powerful of all spirits in Native American culture. Okay. Yes, guys. Okay. I have God's spirit with me. God's spirit is the Thunderbird. Okay, guys. The Thunderbird, if you're familiar with uh, Native American totem poles. It's in the shape of a cross with a thunderbird on top, okay, and a man and a, and a, and a, a son below that, okay. My ancestors had seen that it was coming, that this day was going to be here. So they uh, carved it out. Those are the visions that the ancestors were preparing everyone was for. That's why when you look at those totem poles, you're thinking, ah, oh, those totem poles, made my Native American, forget about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But their symbolic message indicating that this is what they're going to do they're going to cut down the tree and they're going to make these carvings and they're going to do this and you know and that and warning you those are warnings do not touch the trees okay so that's why the poles were created as a message to say these trees are sacred this is what will happen see my the ancestors knew that but what happened was when the residential school system arrived the, 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 Christ, the Christian colonizers, they forced the children, they took the children from away from the parents by force, right? And if the parents didn't comply, they were arrested, locked up. That's how evil Christian people are, okay? And they forced them, these innocent children in these schools. They, these children had no idea what was going on. In those schools, they were abused. Most of them were killed. And you're going to see the research throughout on YouTube talking about it. It's there. You can research it. There's no hiding it. It's there. The whole world knows that. And even Israel knows. Because I've witnessed videos talking about it too over there. Okay? What are, what's Israel doing to the innocent children right now? This is is what's coming okay to israel israel is going to be destroyed because god does not pardon those who shed innocent blood so whatever excuse that netanyahu is saying about oh i gotta bomb these people gotta bomb them bomb them. oh these innocent children these, these are just casualties they're they're using the, the children as as uh, uh shields Anywhere in the world, there's always going to be children with parents. These parents are going to defend their homes. They have a right just the same way as fake Israel has the right to defend themselves. When there's no such thing as fake Israel. Israel is a spirit, guys. It's a spiritual story going on here. There's no such thing as a country, guys. That's the error. We're all human beings. That's the whole point of creation you become to understand that you're a human being and we're all in this together. That's the creation. Okay? That's it. These religions, God is wiping clean. Okay? So anyways, back to the what I'm saying. So Isaiah 45, 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun, from the west, that there is none beside me, I am the Lord. And there is none else. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. And what do you think is happening right now through North Carolina? There's a flood. 
That's why I said I'm not joking around, guys. I've been trying to warn you that this was coming. Because if you take away the trees, you don't take you don't take care of the trees. What results in the earth reacts. <laughs> okay, we're seeing that reaction going on right now. All right, so <clears throat> the Genesis two fifteen is associated with. Um, a residential school in BC when they first discovered, right, unmarked graves of children. Okay, they found 215 unmarked graves of children that were killed in these Christian residential schools. This is why you have to come out of Christianity because you're accountable for that, if you call yourself a Christian. All right, this is what I'm warning you about, okay? So this is what the enemy shall come in like a flood, which is happening on YouTube. I've been trying to tell, warn these false Christs on YouTube, the ones who identify as uh, Christ idol worshipers, right? They're on YouTube declaring these things. Jesus is coming. Oh, love Jesus. Oh, Jesus loves you. All this yada yada banter. This is, they are the enemy to God. Okay? So they're the ones that represent the flood. So as long as they're declaring these curses, these things are going to happen. These, these storms, these, these events, you know, Israel at war, right? This is all associated with these events that are happening on YouTube. Babylon, because they're babbling on and on and on. All right. I hope that makes sense, guys. I'm, I'm not here. To, I'm not here joking around here. I'm trying to give you guys what you guys are actually not seeing. <clears throat> Zechariah 14.9. Oh, I'm sorry. Zechariah 9.14. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just I forget that passage here. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Showing you God's spirit. Okay. God's spirit is the word. Okay. Which is associated with the Lord's name, the Father's name. His name is Jason. Jason the 13th, right? Jason in the calendar, 7-11, right? July, August, September, October, November, 7-11. Genesis 7-11. There's a pattern going on here, guys. <laughs> okay, so Zechariah 9-14, as in September. <laughs> September 14th. And the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. And the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with the whirlwinds of the south. What do you think those whirlwinds are coming in from? The south. <laughs> right? You guys should understand this because you see everyone sees the news. So I'm trying to help you understand and, and help you to put these things together. Everyone that I talk to, they're just amazed by it. They say, oh, wow, you can just put all this stuff together. How do you know this stuff? Look, I mastered the Bible since I was seven years old, guys. I've been in the church since I was eight years old. I received Jesus when I was nine years old at a Terry Winters crusade, which is fulfilling Acts 17, verse 7. Okay, whom Jason had received another king when Jesus. That's where Jesus went. Jesus is with me, guys. <laughs> Zechariah 14, verse 9. And the Lord should be king over them shall be king over the, all the earth in that day. There shall be one Lord and his name one. Where does the word Christ come in? <laughs> this is talking about the Lord God, guys. The Lord is the king. God is the king, not Jesus. Okay. No, Matthew 3.16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went straight out of the water. The water is who I am. 
got the information from, right? And lo, the heavens were opened up to him, the internet. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, which the dove, it's a metaphor as a bird. You know, my family's name, bird. And lightning, which is associated with thunder. So if you put the two together, the Spirit of God is the celestial thunderbird. Okay. In the Bible, it refers to it as an eagle. You know, birds of a great eagle. Right? Okay. So, Matthew, Jesus is telling you, Matthew 24, 24, as in 2024, 27, the 27th day. For as lightning comes out of the east and shines even unto the west, you know, because I'm in the west, Jesus was in the east, right? So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The Son of Man is the Father, guys. Jesus is telling you the Father is the one that's coming with Jesus. So I hope that makes sense, guys. That would clear some up, some things up for you guys, because you because these false Christs on YouTube have no clue what's going on. Right? How this is all associated with the Christian residential school. Right? Because the children represent as the, as the trees. Okay? You take away the trees, and you're not giving them the cold drink of water, which is, you know, the, the knowledge I'm teaching them. Okay? Well, guess what's going to happen? These events are going to happen. And these false Christs are declaring their lies. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. Okay? This is the, the son's mother, Tanya Cardinal. She's also a bird. <laughs> right? And Tanya represents the Jewish book, the book of Tanya. Okay? And uh, this picture was taken at 5.33, 5, 6, or 11, or 1.1. One, one. You know, in, Za in Za uh, Zachariah, right? There shall be one Lord and his name one, <laughs> right? Because it's about the name. Right. At 144 a.m., as in the 144. Okay. And uh, she had 48% on her phone. 48. 48. 48 Eclipse. I am 48 years old. 24, 24 is 48. Okay. So anyways... I thought I'd drop that quick video here so you can understand exactly what's going on right now and why this day is very important because this is the day of reconciliation, okay? Where everybody should be reconciled back to God, okay? But nobody is because nobody is listening to the Heavenly Father, which is me. I'm the Heavenly Father. I'm the one that... with that has Jesus on his right hand on the, on the side. Okay? And this is the Holy Child that's been born, which is symbolic of the first created man. And then now when you guys begin to understand that, you come out of these religions and you become a human being again. And when you become a human being again, you begin to see children for what they really are. The light as all anointed beings, all perfectly created, all divinely created. Instead of following these devil religions, you become being a human again. And that, my friends, is the first day of creation. I appreciate you guys, right? All right. Uh, I always want to do, be, do my best for you guys, right? I've been always trying to help people understand what the Bible's trying to say, okay? I've always sat with people when I was a boy, okay? I've read the Bible countless, countless times to many people. I've been teaching about Jesus since I was a boy, 
I don't bother with the devil Paul's lies. I do not bother with men's opinions in the Bible. I only focus for what is important is what God is trying to tell you. And what is important when you see the tree of life interact with humanity today, you see it firsthand. And as man doesn't take care of the planet properly, these storms are going to get worse. So I said, for every consequence, there's a reaction. Right? So anyways, I'd like to thank you. Love the Lord your God with your heart and mind and soul. I didn't come to take away the law of the prophets. I came to fulfill. Thank you. And have yourself a very good day, guys.